Hello everyone, this is Ketish here. In this video, I'm going to go through the AQA Combined Science Physics Paper 2, higher tier from 2020. Paper 2 is on four main, uh, three main topics, which is forces, waves, and magnetism. This paper has a total of seven questions and it's out of 70 marks. <clears throat> so let's have a look at question number one. Question one, figure one shows five different metal samples, iron, steel, aluminium, copper, and tin. A student placed a magnet close to each metal sample. Describe what happens. Now, iron and steel are magnetic materials. magnetic materials right these three are not magnetic now there's only four metals that are magnetic along with iron and steel nickel and cobalt are also magnetic so describe what happens so if you bring a magnet close to iron and steel they will be attracted and if you bring a magnet close to aluminium copper and tin nothing will happen they won't be attracted so how do we answer this question iron and steel will be attracted let me that. Iron and steel will be attracted to the metal, sorry, magnet, while aluminium, copper, and tin will not be attracted to the magnet. Second question Figure two shows a paper clip attached to a permanent magnet. The paper clip in figure two is not a permanent magnet. Explain what would happen if the paper clip was removed and brought close to the south pole of the permanent magnet. So, what they're saying is if you remove this paper clip and brought it over here what will actually happen now because this is not a permanent magnet this is what you could call an induced magnet the paper clip is magnetic that's why it's sticking to the permanent magnet and it will behave exactly the same way if you bring it to the south pole as well so the paper clip will st would still be attracted to the magnet because of induced magnetism you need to give a reason here they are asking for you to explain what would happen why it would happen that's why you're going to get the second mark when you say because of induced magnetism next part question 1.3 write down the equation that links gravitational field strength g mass m and weight w you could use the equation sheet for this the equation that links all three of these quantities is weight equals mass times gravitational field strength you can write it as a word equation or even as a symbol equation as long as you write the symbols correctly <laughs> meaning that you don't mix up this lowercase m for a capital m Question 1.4. The student added more paper clips to one end of the magnet. The maximum number of paper clips the magnet could hold was 20. Each paper clip had a mass of 1 gram. Gravitational field strength is 9.8. Calculate the maximum force. Now, the maximum force is the weight or the maximum weight that it can actually hold so w equals m g now the total mass is the mass of 20 paper clips so 20 paper clips times 1 gram is 20 grams now if i convert that to kilograms because when i am using this in the equation the mass has to be in kilograms so I have to divide that by a thousand. That would give me 0 
kilogram so 0 0.020 times 9.8 would give me a total force of let's say let's bring the calculator So, 0 0.02 times 9.8. Oops, I seem to have taken it away. So, 0 0.02 times 9.8. 0 0.196. So, actually, let me be. So that's zero point one nine six Newton. Zero point one nine six Newton. That brings us to the end of question number one, and I will see you in question number two.